This is Randy Vaughn with the Marketing Twins. A lot of businesses are asking us, why should I need a custom Facebook page? And so this is a brief video giving you a, the highlights of what is a custom Facebook page and what are the key elements of that and why would you need one? This is one we've done for uh, Orange Leap. It's a company out of Dallas, works with nonprofits on their donor management. And so we customize their Facebook page. Now let me show you kind of some of this you can do yourself and uh, some of you can hire a company like us to do it. So it's there's different things you can do. Uh, adding, customizing your Facebook page is not something extremely complex to do, but yet it is a learned uh, skill as well. So we've, we've taken the time to learn it. So if you try it and you just can't uh, seem to get it, give us a ring and we'll, we'll help you out there. But let me show you some of the elements here just so you people will know what we're talking about. This timeline cover photo, this is simply as inserting a, an image in here. We always tell people, don't, you know, you gotta optimize this area. Facebook has some restrictions and rules on what to do here and what you can't do. Primarily, just the general rule is don't put any call to action. You can't have a watch, watch this video or go to our website or buy our product. Uh, it can't even say click the like button down here, which mine's already clicked, so it says the liked. But uh, on if you're coming to a new page, it would say like. And that's the very all-important button that you want people to click on because that's the entrance into the your Facebook database. Similar to where if you were wanting to capture someone's email address, so you could send them an email as a follow-up. Maybe some of you are capturing phone numbers or, or mailing addresses to call or to send them something as a follow-up. You need to get them to click the like button so you can follow up with them by sending them good high-value content into their newsfeed. Research shows that a lot of people come to a Facebook page, they look all over the page, they, they see what articles are written here, see what comments are made, and they might get onto a, an article here and restart reading it, and before you know it, they've read some really good content on your page, but they never actually clicked on the like button. So we're going to hopefully look for ways to optimize the number of likes that you get on your page. So. That's the all important button. So you have your timeline cover. You want to make sure this is branded well for you. This is usually a logo area because this is also going to be the thumbnail that shows up in the news feed. Don't get too cute in here because it, it looks good here, but if it doesn't look good on the news feed, then it's kind of pointless. This is the area that I want to talk about the most. This is where it's part of the custom applications that you can, when we talk about customizing your Facebook page, this is where you go. Now, the apps are added and you can add up to three in these areas you can actually have action items so we have these verbs in our boxes here because we want people to click on these each one of these has a landing page behind it I will show you that in just a second what happens but these are the areas you just insert a little image sized appropriately and you can change even the blue text down here to something kind of relates to that it can be the same thing as you have up here or sometimes you just it gives you a few more characters to be more descriptive of what you're gonna have them do so you, this is the area that primarily we're talking about when we're talking about customizing, even though it includes making sure your timeline cover photo is optimized. So let me kind of walk you through those real briefly what these three landing pages are going to look like. And I've kind of brought them up so you can see them. The first one, we're going to watch our video. So if you were to click on this button, the watch our video right here, this is the page that you would come to. And so it actually has a... Uh, some graphics here we put together but this is just an embedded YouTube video and then we have an additional again we're looking for ways to keep them on the page longer and we've actually got an email capture here we're trying to get as well so you can in this is from uh, constant contact so we're able to upload that as well so two things we're trying to get them to do here is stay on the page longer and watch their video and see if we can get them in the newsletter list we actually have a little subsequent navigation in here to take them to so if we were now to click from here to download the white paper it would simply come to a page here again simple graphics and then a form here that when they filled out their information they would be taken to a page that would say uh, here download your white paper your free report whatever you want to give them so it's another way to get information from people and then the last one which was the see our demonstration or dem demo is again some simple graphics another YouTube video and that's it so there's a lot of things you can do in these custom Facebook pages again the idea is to keep people on your page longer and to hopefully uh, get people to like your page and so hopefully that helps you to understand what a custom Facebook page is